Hi guys. This book today that we're going to be reading is called The Gigantic Turnip. And in this story, an old man and an old woman have a garden full of vegetables to pick. They pick them all except for one gigantic turnip. It is so big that they get their animals to help them pull it up. Are they able to pull it up out of the ground? Let's read it and find out. The Gigantic Turnip. Long ago, an old man and an old woman lived together in a crooked old cottage with a large overgrown garden. The old man and the old woman kept six yellow canaries, five white geese, four speckled hens, three black cats, two pot-bellied pigs, and one big brown cow. It's a lot of animals. On a fine March morning, the old woman sat up in bed, sniffed the sweet spring air, and said, it's time for us to sow the vegetables. So the old man and the old woman went out into the garden. They sowed peas and carrots and potatoes and beans. Last of all, they sowed turnips. So that means they planted their garden. They put the seeds in the ground. That night, rain fell, pitter-patter, on the garden off the crooked old cottage. The old man and the old woman smiled as they slept. The rain would help the seeds swell and produce fine, juicy vegetables. Spring passed and the summer sun ripened the vegetables. The old man and the old woman harvested their carrots and potatoes and peas and beans and turnips. At the end of the row, there was just one turnip left. It looked very big. In fact, it looked gigantic. That is a ginormous turnip. On a fine September morning, the old man sat up in bed, sniffed the cool late summer air, and said, it's time for us to pull up that turnip. And out he went. The old man pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked, but the turnip would not move. The old man went to find the old woman. He can't do it by himself. The old woman wrapped her arms around both the man's waists. Both of them pulled away and heaved and tugged and yanked, but then still the turnip would not move. I can't talk today. So the old woman went to fetch the big brown cow. <clears throat> the old man, the old woman, and the big brown cow pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked, but still the turnip would not move. So the old man mopped his brow and went to fetch the two pot pigs. The old man, the old woman, the big brown cow, and the two pot-bellied pigs pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked. Still, the turnip would not move. So the old woman rolled up her sleeves and went to fetch the three black cats. The old man, the old woman, the big, the big brown cow, the two pot-bellied pigs, and the three black cats pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked. Still, the turnip would not move. So one of the cats twitched her tail and went to fetch the four speckled hens. So now they've got all these animals helping them. The old man, the old woman, the big brown cow, the two pot-bellied pigs, the three black cats, and the four speckled hens pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked. Still, the turnip would not move. So one of the hens shook her feathers and went to fetch the five white geese. The old man, the old woman, the big brown cow, the two pot-bellied pigs, the three black cats, the four speckled hens, and the five white geese pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked. Still, the turnip would not move. So one of the geese craned her neck and went to fetch six yellow canaries. Wow. The old man, the old woman, the big brown cow, the two pot-bellied pigs, the three black cats, the four speckled hens, the white five geese, five white geese, and the six yellow canaries pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked. And still, that turnip would not move. What do you think they can do? I wonder how they're going to get that out of the ground. The old man scratched his head. The animals and the birds lay on the ground gasping. The old woman had an idea. <clears throat> The old man, the brown old woman, the big brown cow, the two pot-bellied pigs, the three black cats, the four speckled hens, the five white geese, the six yellow canaries, and the hungry little mouse pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked. Bop! 
<laughs> the gigantic turnip came flying out of the ground and everyone fell over. The canaries fell on the mouse, the geese fell on the canaries, the hens fell on the geese, the cats fell on the hens, the pigs fell on the cats, the cow fell on the pigs, the old woman fell on the cow, and the old man fell on the old woman. All of them lay on the ground and laughed. That night, the old man and the old woman made a huge bowl of turnip stew. Everyone ate as much as they could. And do you know what? The hungry little mouse ate the most of all. So I wonder what else the old man and the old woman could have done to get that turnip out of the ground. What do you think they could have done? I wonder maybe if they could use like a shovel or, I mean, maybe a bulldozer. There's all kinds of ways they could have tried. And they tried so many ways to pull that turnip out of the ground. Why do you think the old woman wanted the mouse to help? Why do you think they wanted the tiny little mouse to come help pull them that turnip out? Maybe just a little bit more strength. Teamwork makes things happen. So good things happen when we work together, I think. So I go, hope you guys have a really good day. I've been getting tongue-tied all day. See you later.